Hi folks, welcome to another episode of The Happy Heretic, and today I'm going to teach you how to paint these Star Wars Legion barricades. Maim kill burn! Maim kill burn! I'm doing things a little bit different today, uh, just because I've got, uh, my neighbors are, have people working on their roof, so it's a little bit loud outside for me to do any filming out there, but, uh, I, I got the, uh, the Star Wars Legion core set, and in the core set are these, uh, barricades. Uh, you get, I believe, eight of them, uh, in this, in the core set. You can also buy them, uh, packaged separately as well, and they're just neat little pieces of scattered terrain, uh, and you can see that... You know, they provide some, some light cover for your minis. Um, and what I'm going to do today, like I said, is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to paint these quickly and simply using just three colors. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I did was prime the barricade black. I used Rust-Oleum 2X spray paint, but any black paint from a rattle can or an airbrush will work just fine. Once the primer was well and truly dried, I started with a heavy dry brush of Citadel's Lead Belcher. After the Lead Belcher, I went back and gave the entire piece another dry brushing with Army Painter's Shining Silver. Now, I didn't go as heavy with this color as I did with the Lead Belcher, uh, but you can go however hard you'd like with it. Doesn't really matter, just slap the paint on the mini. Once the paint's dried, it's time to wash the barricade with Agrax Earthshade, aka the Magic Juice, Brown Liquid Gold, and that shit that everyone loves spilling on their painting table. I went pretty heavy with the wash while making sure to avoid any weird pooling effects, and this is really going to give the appearance of some nasty aged metal, maybe something that's been sitting out for ages on some desert planet, maybe. Now that the Agrax is dry, it's time for the last step, and that's applying a liberal coat of Games Workshop's Storm Shield Varnish, or any type of varnish you want to use, really. After all, these barricades are going to get tossed around more than a Rebel Fleet Trooper, and we want to protect that fabulous paint job. And there you have it, one painted barricade for Star Wars Legion. Like I said, it's a neat little piece of scattered terrain. Looks really, really good on the tabletop, especially all painted up. And this took almost no time at all. Uh, longest part of the painting process was waiting for the uh, the wash to dry. Um, total time, about an hour. You could easily knock out all eight of these um, in the span of an afternoon, probably even less than that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave this right here. Uh, let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section below. As always, if you liked what you saw, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Both of those things help me out quite a bit, and I will see you all next time.